I was breast cancer when I was 22 years old, um, so it's been 14 years I've been in remission. And even though her cancer is in remission, Dietrich Harris still has to get treatment. But now she has a brand new facility to get that treatment. Today we had a ribbon cut in an open house for our oncology and surgery center. Uh, we have a number of doctors that are going to be moving in and opening it up. Six doctors specializing in radiology, cardiology, urology, and general surgery will move in and start taking patients on Monday. But on Sunday, Phoebe held an open house to show people and patients the new building. I mean, this is a state of the art. It's their second in two months, part of a rebuilding process since the Sumter County Hospital was leveled by a tornado two and a half years ago. A lot of excitement. A lot of, it's always good to see buildings going up. And um, I think the community is very behind us, and we, very, we really appreciate that. But what Sumter County residents appreciate is quality care close to home. We have so many people that have lost their, lost their lives to cancer, and it's, a, it's so important to get detected early and to come out here and get treated. But Phoebe Sumter isn't done building up their campus. By the end of next month, they plan to open up a third satellite building, this wellness and education center. And it all leads to the opening of this, the Phoebe Sumter Main Hospital, which they hope to have open and accepting patients by this time next year. We're looking at um, the middle of December and uh, maybe by the early of January, but we're, we're hoping that we can open it up and it'll be a nice Christmas gift for the community. All right. Alan Carter, Fox 31 News.